Church, welcome to today's digital devotion. We are here on a Saturday morning with all of the church leaders and board members that are coming up for the year ahead in ministry. And we are so excited for the year ahead of us because we have faith that God has faith in us. Hello again. So as you know, we were meeting with all of the church board members and leaders for the year ahead this morning. And we are just so excited because they have committed to serving you and the whole church for another year of great ministry together. And our theme this year is God has faith in us or God's faith in us. And the idea is that we so often talk about how important it is to have faith in God. But when you look at scriptures, you realize that God has so much faith in us to carry out God's work in the world. Jesus called disciples that were really a bunch of nobodies who weren't scholars or religious leaders or part of a priestly lineage and said, you are called to be my disciples. You can do what I do. And I'm sending you out to share my good news with the world. And the amazing thing is they did it. And over 2000 years later, here we are still proclaiming the message, carrying the torch, doing ministry together to share God's love with the world. And so that is something that we always need to think about that God has faith that we can do this. We can be God's light in the world. We can be sharing love and compassion and kindness and teaching these values to one another and to our children and to the community at large. Yeah, we talked at the retreat today that sometimes we do have a little bit of imposter syndrome that we feel like God possibly could not possibly be using us or calling us and we have no role to play or anything to contribute. But we watched this great video by Rob Bell, an author that you and I both really love. Mm -hmm. And the video just kind of emphasized this idea that here is Christ telling these disciples, follow me, just like the rabbis would have done to their protégés. And Jesus is saying by the words, follow me, I think that you can do what I do. And God has said that to each of us. I think that you can do what I do. And so we are part of that calling. And I thought something really astute that was raised here at the leadership retreat was this idea that part of the insecurities we have to overcome in today's landscape is just the idea of um, what does it even mean for us to think of ourselves or call ourselves Christian when that word has been so abused and skewed and it seems to mean that we are define our faith by what we're against rather than what we're for. Right. And yet the calling is that we are instructed to do what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. and, and that goes so far beyond the ways in which the word Christ or Christian has been so skewed and yeah. abused. And so I hope that you can get over any sort of imposter syndrome and know that God is using you in this world as well. God has faith in you that you can make a difference regardless of age or any other demographic. That's right. So we will see you on Sunday yes. for worship. Can't wait to be together again. We'll see you then. Bye.